This is Mark Bell from Super Training TV, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. This is a Saturday at Super Training Gym where we had great energy. A lot of guys are doing box squats. You're also going to see some deadlifting going on. Here's Greg Buffington going with four plates and some doubles. It's very common for us to do doubles um, on this day, uh, upwards of uh, anywhere between 8 to 15 sets. You see Ramos losing the bar there as so he has the bar super low on his back, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, Mike is going with uh, some block pulls here. In his warm-ups, he likes to go both sumo and conventional. I think that's important. Some of you raw lifters out there to uh, practice both styles as well as uh, switching up your under-over grip. Um, you never know when you're going to need uh, your grip to uh, kind of face in the other direction. Uh, you might tear a bicep or have some sort of weird elbow injury that prevents you from holding the bar a certain way, and so you might as well add some balance to your deadlifting uh, by switching your grip up. It is a mistake, though, to switch your grip up with heavy weight, so only do it in your warm-up. Um, this is a great group we had here. You can see Damon messing around in the background. We had a lot of fun on this day. We also got a lot of work in. Um, uh, another thing about uh, doing doubles on the speed day, I mean, there's nothing that really says you can't do a single, and there's nothing that says you can't do a set of five. So if the weights are moving really easy, um, there's really no reason why you can't um, do more reps. And that's what I have Ramos do in a minute. You're going to see. Look at how low that barbell is on his back. It's crazy. Crazy the amount of explosive power the guy has. I actually feel, even though he just hit a 600-pound squat in competition, I really feel he's got the strength to do 700 pounds. As well as pull 700 pounds raw, too. I really think he's got that kind of strength. Um, it'll just be a matter of him uh, putting a lot of time and effort into the bench press to bring that up. So I'm trying to work on a little bit wider stance and uh, trying to get in the, in the group get with the group more on Saturdays. I haven't been in on a Saturday in a while. And uh, so it's going to be something I'm going to dedicate myself to uh, because getting around, you know, the more people you can get around, um, the easier it's going to be to be successful. Here's Daddy Longlegs hitting up some pulls. Uh, he, he said his back was a little tweaked on this day, so I don't think he had a great day pulling. Um, but he's extremely strong. I think he did an 815 block pull or, I'm sorry, a rack pull at one point. Not that that means a ton, but I think the guy has a lot of potential in really all three of the lifts, actually. There's Ramos again going like a bat out of hell. I think sometimes, this might sound really strange, but sometimes he has a tendency to over push in certain areas of the lift, and uh, the guy doesn't get a really good sense of uh, resistance until he's resisted against. It's almost like a uh, counter puncher in, um, in MMA or in boxing. Like, they won't do shit until someone throws something at him. And I think Ramos is the same way. He, he's going to move around all funky and look like an amateur lifter until you actually get some weight on there. And then he'll start to look uh, more and more like he knows what the hell he's doing. Um, but sometimes he's just got to be slowed down a little bit. And uh, Chris here, he's very new, so uh, we're taking our time with him on this day. I actually had him do um, a bunch of sets with 225 to really work on his form after we did these sets. There's my chubby little self cranking out about five plates. Here goes uh, G Buff. And you see Greg's going to get into his suit in a little bit because he's competing in a USPA meet um, in July. There's Ramos going again. We're going to talk about that low bar position when, you, when, we, when we get it from the side more, but um, he's got that barbell in perfect uh, position with his hips. Um, you can kind of draw a straight line down where his hips are, and they're almost in a, in a complete, uh, it's a good, he has a good relationship between where his hips are and where the barbell is, it's almost like his hips are just directly underneath the barbell. He also sits back very far in his squats. He's just got, you know, tremendous uh, flexibility through his hips, which kind of allows him to get in some different positions that the rest of us can't really get into. Mike's pulling form is getting better. You can see he's getting more leg drive in there than he has been in the past. I think on these pulls, he can um, probably pull the tension out a little bit more before he starts his pull. But uh, I think on this day, he ended up with a 615 uh, deadlift off of that block, about a two-inch block. Here I'm going with about five plates. 
working on the speed, working on the form. Um, those block pulls are great, by the way, for anyone who has a tight lower back. Your lower back's tight, but you're kind of scheduled to deadlift anyway. Um, get some blocks or get some mats. Put them underneath the weights, make the range of motion shortened, and uh, still end up with a good stimulus and good overload on your body without killing yourself. See, now Chris's head has to be down um, due to the fact that he's got that low bar position. This is something I've talked about in the past. Um, but if he tries to raise his head up, that bar is going to slip down his back further, and um, things will just get more and more weird and more and more jacked up, and he'll just have a tendency to really roll that bar uh, backwards down his back. Here's Damon Thurman going with about 4.15, it looked like there. The barbell's an extra 10 pounds heavy. Damon's trying to build up his raw strength as he's uh, pretty much competed, geared for us. And I'm going again with five plates. It's repetitive. You're trying to um, you're trying to get good form on uh, on every rep of every set that you possibly can, and you're trying to repeat it over and over and over again so you learn it and so you know it. These are some good squats here by Ramos. It's uh, one of his better squatting days, I think. As he works up in weight, you're going to see him handle a little bit more than that today. We get questions about the box height sometimes. Um, these look a little high for some of the guys that are going. Um, I, for myself, I pretty much always squat in a box that's about parallel. I don't really sweat it if it's below parallel. I don't sit there and try to measure it. I don't try to like, you know, figure out where I'm at in terms of how deep my hips are. It's it's never been something uh, that I've been overly concerned with for myself. However, with a lot of my teammates, I do try to make sure that they get a little lower, especially guys that have had problems in the past. Good strong pull there by Mike. Mike is a conventional puller in meets, and he's recently pulled around 600 pounds. And so now he's, uh, on this day, he ended up, I think, we're around 615 sumo off the block. There's Ramos handling 555 or 560 for a nice clean double with no gear. And here's my chubby self doing the same but cheating with briefs on. I'm not above cheating. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. And uh, here goes uh, Silent Mike once again. And that, okay, that was 615 right there, it looked like. And so check out uh, G-Buff as he's in his suit now. He's getting a little wobbly. Uh, good form there, though, again. And now I got uh, five and a half plates on there again. I tried to get in a lot of sets. Tried to just keep going. I was feeling good. And I just really wanted to try to get a lot of work in. So here I am with six plates. Good, strong single. And here goes G-Buff with, uh, this is 705, I think. Smoke that up really easy. Can probably work a little bit more on getting uh, a little bit better depth. And uh, now we got uh, reverse band on there to help us work up a little bit. And now he's got about 7:30 on there. That moves real well as also. And then now I got seven plates on here. And you can see I have the barbell much higher than where Ramos had it. He had it much lower than where I have it. And so, therefore, he's going to be a little bit more efficient, especially when it comes to a raw squat. And that is it from supertraining.tv.